Did you see him flipping last? They're like a circus attraction bumper boats. I can see them on the. I can see them on the hummingbird. Oh yeah, they're all blows. Well, welcome to this episode of Addicted Fishing. We're out here in the middle of the Atlantic <laughs> Ocean, right off of Stewart. We're catching ourselves some bait, sabiking them up. We got Sam Heaton from Minkota, Hummingbird, Cannon Down Riggers, <laughs> and just about everything you need for your boat. A lot of times you- They're right below us, you can see them. Yeah, you can see them. You can drop it down in there to them. And you'll do better jigging right straight up through them, you know? Yeah. There's a few. There's one. That's what we want right here. This is, yeah, there's there your you load. Go. There's your load of them. You don't want it bleeding. You don't want to tear the scales off of it if you can help it. They're still right there in front of their boat. Oh, right behind us, they're flipping right there. Look at them right behind the boat. Oh, you got some. There you go. There's a, there's a good catch. Boy, that guy standing up there on the front of that boat, if he could see the bull shark. This place is called Bull Shark Barge, <laughs> and there's a reason for that. <laughs> Come on, Sam, get him up, brother. Look at that, there yeah, you go. Boy. That's the way That's to get him, man. That's what you want to do right there. That way it won't take us long to get our bait and we can go fishing. When you're out here trying to catch bait, you've got to have the right stuff. A lot of people come out here with an old rod and no line on it and an old, a bad reel and and they can't catch their bait, and, and that screws your whole day up, man. Here we got graphite rods and good reels and braided line and, you know, your signature series uh, Eagle Claw rods. And it really... And they really, work. And, 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 hey, they're great rods. I love them. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned to this episode of Addicted Fishing. It's going to be a smorgasbord catch today. We're going to see what we can do. Let's go, then. Uh-oh. Uh, I know what that is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, uh-huh. This is kind of the same setup we used to do on the West Coast when I was mm -hmm. living over there. Mm -hmm. We turned the men coat on just real lightly, mm -hmm. just like we got it on right now. And you can control the boat, use the- Big motor. Use the big yeah. motor just like yeah. a rudder. Yeah. And that way you're real quiet, so if anything's around. A lot of times during sailfish season, we'll see the, the sailfish will ball the bait up. Mm -hmm. And you can run right down the edge of the bait ball they never know you're there. If you're running your big motor, you know, even as quiet as the big motors are now, you still make a noise, but with the trolling motor, it works perfect. There we go. There you go, Blair. Coming around, coming around. You under? Yeah, I'm wondering what this is. You want is. me to pull the rigger rod up? Uh, no, go ahead. Huh? Go ahead and leave it out. I think you swam over top. I don't know what it is. We just saw like, some. Starting to act like a kingfish now. We saw some huge big jack. Or it was a, or it's a big jack. Uh oh, down uh, right off. I know what that is. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, I think it's a big jack. Doubles. This is, this is a Mr. Trevally. This one hadn't even started to slow down. <laughs> Selfish on top back there. Look at him. Selfish on top. How far back? Uh, oh, he broke. Might be just a big old Jack Turbelli. Yeah. So I'm gonna hey, man. put the heat on him. I'll yeah. take Jacks. Yeah, we'll get to that selfish. Jacks are always good one out on yeah. a charter for money makers. Oh, there's a fish on. There he is. I hope it's that selfish. I hope it's that. If I can see this, and if it's a Jack, I'll pop him. Come on now. Oh, well, the cow, he broke my line too. Yeah, he bit my wire, <laughs> bit me off. Hey, look, I'm fighting, in, I'm in the shade. <laughs> yeah, I'll land him and show him to folks. They're great fish. You know, we promote these fish down here as a gang fish. Well, me and Mark, my very first, my very first season, we came down here and shot a show, nothing but jacks. And I've done, fish. I've done a few shows just catching jacks. And they ain't a bad fish. I mean, look at this eight footer. It's bent like, you know, to its max. Yeah, that was a kingfish, that last one. He bit me off. <clears throat> or a big, one of them big barracudas. <clears throat> Barracuda reminds me of 1957 Chevrolet with a 327 <clears throat> big block. <laughs> Let me get down here, just lighting up the boat. 
Hey guys, one thing when you're fighting a big fish, you, even if he's on the other side of the boat like he is right now, fight him with your rod in the water just so your line doesn't rub against the bottom of the boat. Because if you've gone along and nicked something, like hit a board or hit a, hit a tree branch or something like that, that line can touch that fiberglass underneath. Big Jack. Big Jack. That line will touch that fiberglass underneath and it'll cut it instantly. Look at a pretty jack. That's mm -hmm. a beautiful one. You know, we catch these fish on the beach on fly. We get them up around the port up there. By the time they get up there, they're all about 40 pounds. Mm -hmm. We actually did a show with Jim Ross up there. We called it our jacks, because usually when you hook the jacks these size, no matter what rigs you're using, <laughs> Unless you're using one of these Wright McGill's, of course. <laughs> Usually it takes you about an hour to get them in. <clears throat> that is a Jack Crevel and a half. Yep, he's a good one. Yeah? Yeah, let me have your line. Okay, here we go. Fishing. <laughs> there we go. Shoot the right. hook right out. Got him blind. That way. <laughs> but that is a, that's a Jack Crevel and a half there. That's an arm If you can hear him, listen. <laughs> he ain't happy. He ain't happy a bit, but uh, Jack Crevalli, also known as a canal tuna. <laughs> and to let him go, once you, once you have them out of the water like this, when you let them go, throw them head first straight down and gives them a shock. And that's the way it's done. Man, those things will wear you out. Absolutely wear you out. We're gonna re-rig, we got bit off twice as I was fighting that Jack, so y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back with some more addictive fishing right here in Stewart on a beautiful morning. Let's go then. Oh, yeah. Fish on, baby. <laughs> that a boy, Blair. Yeah, you know, troll right over the top of it, or close as you can get to it. Fish on, fish on. On the downrigger. Oh. Uh oh. I think that might be another one of Jackie for bales. <laughs> <laughs> Good, I'll let you fight him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I get the Jack of you'll probably catch the sailfish. <laughs> I won't argue about that. <laughs> I'd love to see you catch one, brother. We've never caught a sailfish on the show. I'd love to see you catch one. You know, Sam, that, that fins, that's a shock absorbing spectra fiber. It actually has a little, just a just a touch of a stretch to it. Really? And you can put the hammer down, put the boots through I the didn't even know they that. had a line like that. Yeah, they make four different types. They make a smooth cast, a wind tamer when it's real windy, and the original PRT, which well, is- Well, this eight footer's putting smoke to him. Oh yeah, those things are, I haven't had one complaint about those rods yet. Hope not. We spent two years on them. All right, he's Design. coming up. Look at that. That might be a cobia. He ain't no cobia. Is it the man in the yellow submarine? Oh, it's a cobia. Get that man. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. Hold you. Cobia, Holy brother. Holy cow. Cobia, brother. Come on right in the net. Baby. Yeah, <laughs> boy, Blair. <laughs> we eat tonight, man. <laughs> it's Good a job. jack, Blair. <laughs> it's a jack. See how those fish, those, those, those Jack Carvel, they yeah. turn right into the best eating fish yeah. out of the ocean. Right? I, I've only been doing this 35 years. I know everything. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all look at this Kobe. Yeah, they. That is a. Oh, 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 watch him now, Blair. That's what you got to watch he, out for Kobe. He yeah. gets you with them spines. Those things are wild when they get in the boat. I'll see if I can pin him here and show you why. You got to watch out yeah, for these. Show them, Blair. You see those spines right there? Ooh they will flat light you up. That's one thing, the hook technology has come so far. Eagle Claw, you know, has been a pioneer in the hook technology. Yeah, since day one. You, you just can't believe the hooks we used to use. I mean, you know. Just great big old giant Big ones. old ugly forged hooks with no kind of watching. <laughs> I mean, you know, but now the hooks are just so much better. Now this circle hook was right in the corner of that fish's mouth and that's what they're designed to do. And Eagle Claw is actually, well, Laser Sharp's coming out with a new hook this year. Y'all wait till y'all see these. We're gonna rig up again. Snap of our fingers, we'll be back fishing. How far? Cobia? Yeah. Fish on, baby! 
That a boy, Blair. And DOA swimming mullet will do it every time, brother. You did you catch him on that swimming mullet? Yeah. You are the man. <laughs> good job. Oh, man, it's always good to have another rod and rig while you're trolling, especially if it gets a little slow. Good job. And if you have your camera boat slash producer man over there, he pointed him out for me. He said, hey, Blair, there's a cobia. 20 feet in front of my boat. <laughs> Y'all remember the show we did with Jim Ross here previous in the season? They wouldn't leave the camera boat. They would stay, you should have seen that, Sam. They, they stayed right under the boat. Good job, man. Yes, sir, this looks like another good one. He went right after that swimming mullet when he hit the water. I, I mean, swear it, I didn't know they'd hit that thing. D-O-A swimming mullet. <gasps> Unbelievable. Get some color down there yet? Oh, yeah. Call him Chinese catfish. Boy, he's pulling like crazy. Man. He's a good sized fish. Man in the brown suit, gray suit. <laughs> no, we just don't want, we don't want the man in the yeah, gray suit. Oh, yeah, that's right. Look at that DOA sticking out of his mouth, boy. Unbelievable. Uh oh. Turn him around one more time. I don't want to lose him. Not him. Right to you. Let me have some slack. There you go, Blair. Good That's job. It. Look at that. A DOA swimming mullet. You are the <laughs> man. <laughs> I've caught uh, tarpon and snook and everything on that, but I've never dreamed about throwing it for a Kobe. Oh, yeah. Well, I will gonna... have me one on next time. You can count on it. <laughs> I've caught just about everything that swims on that bait right it. there. Looks just like a mullet. And we bounced it right. Kevin said that. I want to uh, make sure I see that color. Did you put that red on there? Or is that wait? It, it bled on the tackle box. But there's a little cobia. Nice little fighter. We're gonna let this one go. Yeah. They got to be. He's they got to be 33 inches to the fork of the tail. Yeah, we can keep it. He's probably pretty close, but we're gonna let him go anyway. We don't want to be greedy. There he goes. All right. Cool beans. I think I'll throw that thing again. <laughs> yeah, that's a hammerhead. Big hammerhead. Oh, there he is, bro. There he is, Blair. You <laughs> think to put it in the rod holder? <laughs> I just fixed to climb what up kind, top. What kind of a presentation is that? <laughs> that was called a over the shoulder deal. <laughs> behind the back, over the shoulder. Yeah, behind the back, over the shoulder. Oh, deal. is this a cove? It's a big one. Ooh, that's good. Who knows what it is? Could yeah. be a kingfish. He's staying up top like a cobia. I saw three feet of white stripe on him. So did I. <laughs> Lisa likes those too. The reason they call them smoker kings because if your line's a little bit wet and they take off that fast, it looks like smoke coming off your reel and you just spit it. Oh, wow. We're not going to be able to see the plug. All we're going to see is where that toothy critter just shave that line away and cut it like a knife. Well, there went my uh, swimming mullet. I think I can get another one from Mr. Nichols. Can I? Oh, down here, going off. All right, stay up there, Black. <laughs>
Fishing is the greatest sport in the world. Even Sam can do it. Even I can do it. An <laughs> old man, a 60 year old man can go out here and have as much, just as much fun as I did when I was 10 years old. <laughs> Isn't that some, unbelievable? Everybody's always asking me if I'm if I'm as excited as I am when I'm catching fish. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I'm like a little kid. Yeah. My grandmother, she gave me her love for fishing. I tell you what, I've never had any. I fished in Vietnam. When I was in combat, I fished. <laughs> we I had to, bank hooks set out on the side of the river. When I was in the Air Force, we used to sneak into the farmer's uh, little creek. Oh, a nice oh, cobia. nice cobia. Nice cubby, man, right over here, and we'll have us some more dinner, baby. You say a cubby is like 33 inches from the tip of the nose to the fork of the fork tail. Fork of the tail. Don't measure the tip of the tail. It's nope. where that tail forks, right, right in the middle of that fork. 33 inches, and you're allowed one. What you want to do, you want to pull on him just hard enough to keep from slipping that drag. A cubby, a cubby will pull you as hard as, they, as you pull them a lot of times. Yeah. And you don't ever want to put one in the boat green. All right, land that fish, Sam. I'm, I want to yeah. catch one. I'm afraid to, <laughs> afraid to put any more on him. But I really like this line. Oh, that line's the stretch ahead. line you got? Yeah. That's it pretty gives, cool stuff and it's, there, man. And it's still spectra fiber, too. It, that's why, why we went to fins. You got four different varieties of line you can choose from. So how many cubby you think you caught, Sam? Holy cow. I'm talking, uh, not as many as the boys in Louisiana, but I hope I haven't caught my share yet. <laughs> <laughs> there he is, straight down. Hopefully we'll get him for one of them big bull sharks do. Man, they're pretty fish. You can see them 30 feet down. You're definitely getting a feel of that eight foot. Right, Miguel? Yes, sir. We're trying to show y'all something other than cobia today, but it won't be a bad day if it ain't nothing but cobia. Oh, let me... oh, nope. I'd rather do this than gaff. Alright, this time is it. Um, oh! <laughs> Got net, <that>, does he? <laughs> <laughs> He's a mean. Come on, baby. She got him on that wire. And... Let me introduce you to some easy light. <laughs> Dark. Come on, turn this way. Brown <laughs> Get that fish in that net, boy. <laughs> I got that bad glare, I can't see which way he's turning. Get that fish in that net, boy. There we go. He's in there, there now, boy. Go. I think you're just trying, mate. <laughs> well, if it was you're just seeing what I had. <laughs> if it was a gaff, we could have got him Hell a few yeah. times. And we'll keep him since we got a since we got one in the cooler already, we're gonna take that one home and invite him for dinner. <laughs> we tried to show you something other than Cobia today. We showed you some sailfish, almost had you some big kingfish, but they kept eating the um, eating that cigar fluorocarbon leader, and <laughs> man, their teeth are sharp as they can be. Had an awesome time here with Sam Heat, and I tell you what, hummingbird, cannon down riggers, and the men cut a troll motor without them today, we sure wouldn't have got the job done. Don't forget about the website addictedfishing.com, and we'll see you next week. Man, I Sam, that was awesome, brother. It was. It was a good time. I appreciate it. First time we actually got to fish yeah. together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a fun time. Fun time. We'll see y'all next week. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to AddictiveFishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. Sailfish! Sailfish, Sailfish baby! Sailfish. Sailfish! Oh, Blair, y'all got the right one, baby. <laughs> I got him now, though. I got him. <laughs> see, that? see those suction cups on top? It's like an accordion head. Yeah. Well, you never know what. Oh, oh man, Blair. I wasn't tugging too hard. <laughs> <laughs>